Hi, my name is Bert Hernandez, and I'd like to welcome you to this video about creating a definite chief aim. One of the things that Napoleon Hill spoke about is having a definite chief aim or definite main purpose. And he indicated that this was the number one principle in thinking grow rich. And so this video is dedicated to helping you understand exactly how to create a definite main purpose statement, and just as importantly, how to say it. During this next few minutes on this video, you'll see people like Alan Nagao, Steve Huang, Josh, and many others doing their statements so you can get The last rule is maybe should be the first rule, but um, this is launching your subconscious mind. So how we train this is we use a statement called a definite purpose in life statement. And what we do is we write down this statement with our downline. We set up target one year. So we don't make it like a three month goal, it's a one year goal. How much money do you want to make in one year? What are you willing to do? It's not good enough to just dream about the money. You must take action. So we say three threes, three, three new contacts, three demonstrations per day, and three new ADRs a week. You must do this. It's important. And how do you need to be the beingness of a team elite? 
So we're always asking them to pick one hero, one person that they want to be like a team lead, they want to be like, everybody is a little different. Some people want to be like me, they want to go crazy, travel all around, they might want to be like Steve, very kind and patient, gentle, they want to be powerful like Sherry, they're going to pick one person they want to be like. And then they figure out the difference. What's the difference between me and Sherry? You know? And they will say, okay, I need to be more forceful. I need to talk louder. I need to raise my chest when I'm speaking. So they will, they will write these comments down, how they need to be. Another critical element, I think, in this beingness portion of the statement, uh, some people are like engineers, they're really thinkers. So maybe their statement will say something will get them out of their brain. Maybe like, I, I need to be wild, spontaneous, you know, that kind of thing, those kind of words. Uh, some people, they give to everybody, but they don't give to themselves. So we put down in the statement, worthy, deserving, one good word is attractive. I'm attractive. So it's kind of different, opposite. So really, um, the outline is spending uh, uh, maybe a, a bit of time to really identify those qualities in the person that would help them to become a team elite. And then, what you're going to have as a result of doing this work. So. If um, maybe a new BMW, maybe a new home, maybe helping parents, maybe helping children, this kind of things that really turn that person on. We try to have them write a few things for themselves and a few things for others. Because I think habitually, especially Oriental culture, we want to do for everybody else, but we forget to do anything for ourselves. So we, we try to balance that a little. And um, we will, um, in this process of doing the deaf net purpose statement, we will actually ask them to um, thank you God for it is done. We want to end the statement with that you don't have to do it all by yourself. You can use the force of God to help you. In the end, um, we have them sign the statement and do it out loud. This process is twice a day. They must do it out loud with full force, with energy. And uh, this fills the, the passion. So I just will take a moment here to explain this segment, I think, really differentiates what we are doing in our team. I was actually tutored, mentored, by a man named Joseph Green in 1986. Joseph Green was 88 years old when he mentored me. Um, so that means he was born in 1897. He was tutored by Napoleon Hill. <laughs> Napoleon Hill wrote the book Think and Grow Rich. So I'm second generation to Napoleon Hill. I was able to read like documents from Henry Ford some of the leaders of that time, I got to see the original letters. I was very fortunate. I had two years of mentorship with this Joseph Green. Some people who think I made my millions in yo-yo. I made my millions because of this statement and because of Joseph Green. Two years, he mentored six of us. I was one of the six. So very fortunate for me. And so, um, when we do the statement, we create a burning desire. Joseph Green taught us to create the white heat of desire of what you want.
light their fire. This is the process. I can tell you for sure that this process works. Every person I do, they do it, they, they become on fire. And so you must mentally visualize the picture of what you want. You must physically do it out loud and you must put energy every time you do it. That is the process. So, I'll do my statement so you can get an idea how to do the statement. It is my birthday, June 21st, 2009, and I, Alan Naga, am receiving over $300,000 in funding residuals of my global Houston Enterprise business. I'm a worthy, deserving man of integrity. Doing my three free daily, three new profit, prospecting calls, three free way presentations, and three new ADR jumped ensuring my success. Scheduled and organized, I've inspired over 1,000 executives in my downline, 20 of my Blue Diamond leaders, and I'm receiving over a million dollars per year income. This has given my family and I time and freedom together. I'm now visiting daily, planning and organizing for my new role as governor of the state of Hawaii. I thank you, God. After each person does their statement, they are to memorize and state the self-confidence formula from Napoleon Hill. So first, I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life. Therefore, I demand of myself persistent, continuous action towards this attainment, and I hear and now promise to render such action. Second, I know that the dominating thoughts of my mind will gradually transform themselves into outward physical action and eventually transform themselves into physical reality. Therefore, I concentrate my thoughts for 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to become, thereby creating in my mind a clear mental picture of that person. Third, I know through the principles of auto-suggestion, any thought or desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means of obtaining the object back of it. Therefore, I devote 10 minutes daily demanding myself the development of self-confidence. Fourth, I have clearly written down the description of my definite chief aim in life, and I shall never stop trying until I shall have developed sufficient self-confidence for its attainment. Fifth, I know that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I engage in no transaction which does not benefit all of the effects. I succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others. I eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by creating love for all humanity because I know that a negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. I cause others to believe in me because I believe in them and in myself. I sign my name to this formula, commit it to memory, and repeat it out loud twice daily with full faith that it gradually transforms my thoughts and actions so that I am a self-reliant and successful team elite leader. Thank you, God, for it is done. I don't know how much of that got translated, but, but it's all in the language. And um, what I would like to do is, um, you know, I always tend to cover with my downline the really the biggest aspect of this statement and doing the statement is the fact that it's what you talk to yourself every day. And so I think especially Asian culture, too often there's comparison. You know, um, I, I explained that everybody comes to this business, New Skin, with a different level of development, self-development. Some people are completely ready for success. They're completely, their self-concept of success is built. So they start the business and it's like, Magic, they're instantly successful. 
where other people they still need to work on self-confidence or self-esteem or maybe worthiness there's some big piece of the puzzle missing it may take two years so it's impossible to compare yourself to someone else so if you are comparing yourself to someone else and I think can even happen to us <laughs> even as team elite sometimes we compare to each other um, you know really what you're doing is being this is a really critical part that Alan is referring to, and that is that we all come to this with a certain amount of conditioning and preconceived notions. And it's really critical that we put that aside and just accept the training. Yourself. And if you're doing this all day, I'm not good, I'm not good enough, then the process becomes telling yourself negative things. And if you sing negative things to yourself 23 hours, probably you saying good things to yourself 10 minutes in the morning and in the night, it's not enough. You have to do 20, what, what is important, the 23 hours. So I explain, please don't compare yourself to other people. And, um, the last thing that I, that I always explain to them is everybody has their own story about their life. 